folks we are out here at Pickwick Dam looks like they're letting the water out I'm here to get skipjack today so we're gonna see how the skipjack fishing is and there's some people that look like they're leaving I'll check with them see how it went out for them as you can see they are releasing the water at the dam this walkway here looks like it connects to those stairs it's completely submerged in the water, so you can't even see it. Let me make sure y'all can see that. But uh, I'm out here, like I said, I'm trying to get skipjack for the spring, summer, and fall. Uh, it's hard to find, hard to buy it. So I figured why not come out here and catch it myself. Plus, it's a new species on our list because we're used to catching bass, catfish, and a few drum here and there. So uh, I'm going to get everything tied up, get this started. I brought a little wheelie cooler. I can wheel down. I got me a bag of ice. Now, there's another YouTube video producer out there. It goes by the name of Steve Douglas. I've been watching a lot of his videos. I've been watching a lot of chat cats. So, you know, y'all give those guys props. Everything that I'm doing out here, I learned from them guys as far as catching this skipjack. So, um, Steve Douglas said uh, he made a little saltwater solution. Now, the hopes and the intentions are that this won't go to waste and I'll actually be able to fill this up. My goal is 10. If I can get 10 skipjack, I don't care how big they are, that'll be perfect. Uh, where I buy them at, they usually gut them. I prefer to just get my own and just freeze them whole and do it like that. Keep up with all my trash. I uh, brought two rods out here. I brought my spinning reel and I brought a bait caster. Uh, the bait caster is on a 6.6 and the spinning is on a seven foot real sensitive they're both real good both got lightweight tackle on it so uh i'm gonna go ahead and use i got some jigs grub jigs and i got a spoon i didn't bring much i wanted to keep it simple so there's a spoon i got a couple little jig heads i bought some more i got some um split shot weight uh, this is just the way I'm going. These are the grubs. Um, you know, I'm sure I'm going to learn as I progress. But uh, I just figured I'm off today. Why not come out and give it a try? So let me get my stuff tied up and then I'll bring y'all back in. All right, everybody. So I got it tied up. I don't know if it's correct. Only one way to find out. And as you can see, I got two of them pink on there. So I'm about to throw it and I'll see what we get. I'm going to keep y'all tuned in for a couple casts. I got this and I got my spoon all reeled up and ready to go. So we'll just see. Come over here so I don't snag my line. And I bird nest. First cast of the day, bird nest. Ain't that about a... Beep, 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 beep. Different spot right here. And we got... TWRA coming to check for licenses. No, that's what he's coming for. So we're gonna go ahead and keep fishing, doing our thing. Let's see what he says. What's up? Doing good? Uh, I just got here. I lost a lot of tackle though, so. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. About around when? They go out. They go out the first. They go to Oh, you talking about the license? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, gotcha. Okay. Good to have your license, folks. 
even if you don't get a ticket, you still got to show up in court for that. So keep them licenses up. But yeah, I moved from over there. The water's high. It's not so great today, y'all. But we're going to stick it out, see what, you know, what we can pop up. Up there by the, by the wall, they say it's the best if you can even get up in there. Be so many people. Elbows and assholes, and I mean that. You're elbow to elbow with a bunch of assholes. Yeah. So we're on the other side of the dam, or the river. Same side of the dam, just different side of the river. And I was over there. Over there, rather. And now we're going to fish over here for a few minutes. Not long. But, yeah. But, this is what I want to catch. And this is a good sign. This lets me know something. That they do come over here. This is the Pickwick Dam. Dead skipjack, and he ain't been dead long, cause you know, I mean, bugs and the bugs and stuff ain't got to him all the way. But yeah, and that's how I know it's a skipjack, cause that big bright yellow eye. Yep, that's what I'm out here to get. That's gonna be my catfish bait. Get a boat, get a cooler full of them, take them out, cut them up, guts and all. Man, I'm telling you, she did good. I didn't have the camera rolling, but I got me a skipjack, y'all. I got me some freaking skipjack. My goal is 10, so I'm going to keep on fishing. Using this little pink crappie jig uh, tube. So, yeah, I'll keep doing it. Got another skipjack. That's what I'm talking about. That's number two. Number two, baby. Woo, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Babalico, and they biting off this little pink crappie tube, y'all. Two, eight more to go. Bet, let me run up this hill, mountain, put my bait in my cooler. I'm gonna come back and get some more of these jokes. I'm just tuning y'all back in because though I'm not connecting, the action is there. I mean, they're they're there. I'm not making contact. They're nipping at it. But no, I've only I have only hooked up twice. So, I'm trying to get something on camera for y'all, you know. It's a point of fishing show if you can't see the action, right? Looks like we've hooked up again. And we have. Let's hope that it's a skipjack. Because he hasn't come up out of the wild. It's a skipjack. I'm gonna get him up out of here. There we go. There we go. Number three. Number three. Come here. This was up. There. They're all nice size too. Pretty in color. I right, got this is nice water. Set up. I'll just bury him in there. Freeze up, be nice and fresh. Flash freeze kind of if you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, new species for me. Not hard to catch either using real light tackle. I got this stuff's been in my tackle box forever though. You know, with little crappy lure, crappie lures that you get. I got them you know, like the pink jig heads. I just didn't understand fishing at the time, so I was putting 50 pound test line on those little eighth ounce jig heads and wondering why they wouldn't cast out nowhere. Now my setup, this is um, six pound test, real light. So it's easy to cast, like I'm almost able to hit the other side where that wall is, maybe about three feet away from it maybe five you know, perception but either way still getting a good cast as opposed to a you know, 10 15 foot cast so yeah good day super stoked all right number four folks he got hooked in the eye poor dude all right, let me set this down, put him in ice, come back and get to it. Number four, six more to go, y'all. Let's 
said, I'm gonna get this drop pin all the way in there so he's completely submerged in that ice. Flash freeze him. Get my line, people are starting to come out. I don't want them to get in my spot. So, that being said, I'm at the honey hole. And I think they're liking it, reeling it in fast. I don't think they like the slow approach. They're liking it when it's got some speed on it. So, let's get back to it. But other people are starting to come out. You got three guys down there now. I've seen some just pulled up, so must be a good time of the day to come out and get them. Whatever you're fishing for, crappie, whatever. All right, number five. Number five. Okay. Doing good, good, good. Five more to go, y'all. Look at him. He didn't come up out of the ice. Out of the water. Oh, you got Nice, cool ice water. Flash freeze. Five, y'all. Got number six. What's the limit on crappie? Do you know? Uh, 30. 30. Okay. Seven. Three more to go. You know. Come on out. Yeah. All right, viewers. This is officially my last cast of the day. I'm calling a night. That dude over there in the middle, right there in the dark colored jacket, he's been lighting him up. He came out here, and I think he's already got six. I got seven. Goal was ten. Last cast. And I've been noticing they've been reeling it in really fast. Like on theirs, you know, they got five hooks and they reel it in super fast. I've been going at a medium fast pace. But um, good day. Good day of fishing. I'm definitely not going home empty handed. These are going in the freezer. And yeah, and you know, a true fisherman, that ain't my last cast. This is my last cast. <laughs> okay, hope we can get something on this last cast of the day down here at Pickwick Lake, Pickwick Dam. And there he goes down there. You got him one. So I'm reeling in mid speed. And, um,. Them jokers and got slimy. My gloves are soaking wet. They're supposed to be waterproof gloves, but you know how that goes. So he's got a snag. That sucks. And that's just officially it. So I hope y'all enjoyed this video today. Um, it was very awesome. Like I said, those guys. Um, I've never met them personally, but um, chat cats. Uh, YouTube channel and uh, Steve Douglas. I'm not sure Steve Douglas's channel, but he's, he's a big catfish fisherman um, up on the Tennessee and Kentucky Lake area. And we got seven of these things down in the freezer. Make good bait, real good bait. So I'm excited. Finally did it. All right, no, slimy. Uh, so appreciate y'all watching. As always, subscribe, like, and share with a friend. Thanks and have a great day.